Welcome uh, to my living room. My name is Billy Royce. I'm a, a filmmaker and musician uh, based in Vienna, Austria. And yeah, unfortunately in Austria they, they put up another corona lockdown. So actually this masterclass should have been happening at the Vienna Film Museum which would be uh, a very, very beautiful place to show my films and to talk about my word, uh, work because it's a very important place for me. It's, uh, it, it, when I moved to Vienna in the early 90s, uh, it was um, my, a very important school for seeing and listening for me. I'm a bit sad that this cannot happen in film museum and also that it cannot happen in a, a black box like the cinema because my film works are made for the big screen and the big PA. But uh, yeah, I hope you can get uh, some impression of my work also on your little tablets and laptops and computer screens or maybe even mobile phone screens. I first want to start and show you a music video I did for the Norwegian band Moo. Okay, this was Paris from the Norwegian band Mu. This is the CD where the track is taken from. Um, and in this video you can very much see um, the technique which is uh, kind of a um, source of my images since many years. It's the audio signal itself like you can also see here on this little monitor. And I'm using a little device called Synchronator. You just see what you hear. So, for example, when I make a very low sound, like... You get more thick stripes and if I turn my voice higher like or even more higher so for Paris I, I turned every uh, uh, recording track from each instrument which is used in this band uh, into a separate video track stripes like this and then I was weaving together uh, this uh, this sound and image carpet that you just saw uh, on uh, in this program the next work I want to show you is a very early work from 2000 I just started to make uh, this kind of experiments, I think 1999 and 2000, I made this uh, work called Smog Frogs. Uh, and Smog Frogs uh, is a collaboration with uh, Dieter Kovacic, also known as Deep 13. Uh, we are working together since a long time and also uh, partners in Love and Life since the late 90s. So... Uh, smog frogs, yeah, I just show you smog frogs now and then I will talk a bit about it.
this was a smog frax from 2000 by Dieter Kovacic and myself and uh, this uh, audiovisual miniatures were created in a um, kind of uh, experimental audiovisual laboratory set in our studio and we had a lot of instruments like record player and and electronic devices and also tv and video mixing desks and feedback camera and yeah so we we tried out all different ways of routing the signal and seeing what how to work with the machines in a way that they are not normally used to work with. Like we put the audio signal into the video input and then took, like we also had like open cables uh, in front of the TV. They just took the statics of the uh, cathode ray tube and fit this signal into the audio uh, mixing desk, which is feedback then to the video uh, uh, mixer and then in the TV. And then there was also a feedback camera in front of the TV uh, catching actually the output from the video mixer. And so there's another feedback circuit between the monitor and the camera. And then, then everything is making a big, big audiovisual feedback circuit. And yeah, we made different uh, recordings and experiments and then these uh, little uh, audiovisual sculptures that you just saw in Smog Frogs. Um, okay, the next one, what I want to show you is uh, a movie called Close Your Eyes. Close Your Eyes was very much inspired by Le, uh, Miserable Miracle by Henri Michaud. And Henri Michaud is a Belgian uh, artist and writer. Henri Michaud, he did uh, self-experiments with mescaline in the 1950s. And during this uh, periods of being under the influence of the drug mescaline, he made notices uh, uh, like in in words and but also drawings, and these uh, notices I used as like uh, I put I, some of them I took and made a collage out of it. You can see it here in the score. Like these are drawings of Henri Michaud. He did during different state of the of the changing of the consciousness during the drug experiment and also like how he experienced colors dynamics and um uh yeah 
how how they influenced his his uh, self awareness of his body and um and i i somehow tried to to um translate his no uh, recordings like his drawings and notices in a in a um in an audiovisual uh, work and this is what you just saw the music for uh, this uh, film uh, was uh, again done by Tita Kovacic uh, also known as Deep uh, 13 and this score which you just s see here uh, I gave one to to him for making uh, music and I did the image separately so the im the video and the music soundtrack was just put together in the end. I was very curious about the chemical reaction between uh, image and sound which is done separately but all inspired by the same score. So yeah, the next film that you see is Who's Afraid of RGB? came up with the idea to make this film uh, because uh, my works, my abstract video works are actually quite often um, reviewed in the context of the color field paintings uh, of the 1950s, 60s uh, from Ma Mark Rothko and um, Barnett Newman and Barnett Newman did this, I think it's a trilogy of three images and they are called Who's Afraid of uh, Red, Yellow and Blue and so I, I, I wanted to play with this phrase and also with um, the idea of color field painting and to being afraid of abstract things like colors or um, and uh, red RGB which means red, green and blue this is the three basic colors uh, that we yeah the reception in the eye is made to made up of three uh, different uh, receptors for red, yellow and uh, red <laughs> Uh, green and blue and we yeah the brain is then mixing everything together to all colors we can see and also the video uh, system is based uh, like all this like a video uh, tv screen but also uh, video projectors they are also based on these three colors so i thought it would quite fit because i'm working with video and another aspect of what uh I want to play with was also the the state of being afraid or the transformation of uh, uh, emotion into physical reactions, uh, which is very much yeah influencing like the uh, the the br uh, breathing and the frequency of the uh, heartbeat and also the widening of the pupils. 
And uh, so I came up with this idea to work with actually, uh, indeed, heartbeats. This is a stethoscope with a little microphone in it. So there's the, the one thing is the color field painting. The second thing is the title, Who's Afraid of RGB, which refers on Who's Afraid of Red, Yellow and Blue, which is then uh, referring to the title of the theater piece and film called Who's Afraid Virginia Woolf, which again is referring to uh, um, a, a children's song in the uh, in a cartoon uh, from the 1930s, which is called "Who's Afraid uh, of the Big Bad Wolf." What I did is I asked uh, ten people. I, I casted ten people, uh, and each of them were like uh, sitting in front of a monitor and watching a little scene of Who's Afraid of uh, Virginia Woolf. There is a scene called Killing Martha scene. And they were watching this. And during they watched this, I was recording their heartbeat um, on the sound level. On on image side, I w uh, we have been recording the pupil of the eye uh, in, and the reflection of the movie in the eye. So this was the first step for this film, and uh, for the uh, for the next uh, step, I made of the audio uh, signal of the heartbeat uh, recordings. I made little abstract videos in red, yellow, and blue, and then I showed again. Uh, these abstract um, uh, heartbeat images again to the to the uh, people I was filming before. So and then and filmed the pupil again of the uh, eyes of the of the uh, watching people. As a, and an additional sound recording uh, uh, I did with a bass clarinet player called Susanna Gartmeier from Vienna. And she was improvising actually about this uh, children's song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. So, yeah, what you just saw was the, uh, uh, made of all out of these components. Now we come to the last, uh, to the last movie I want to show you. It's again a music video uh, and it's again a collaboration with Dita Kovacic and it's called Search and uh, it's a audio track uh, by the duo Stumm, Viennese duo uh, from uh, Robert Bockfuss and Manu Meyer. So just watch Search. So this was Search, audio by Stumm, video by Tita Kovacic and me. And for this uh, film, uh, Tita, he 
programmed. Um, uh, he generated uh, with Mandelbulb bulb fractals a uh, virtual spaceship, and he also programmed uh, uh, how uh, um, parameters of the sound, like dynamics or frequencies, influence the movement of the spaceship in a virtual space. And then we had this image source, and I did again what I also did, for example, for Paris, or what you can see here. I uh, I just transferred the audio signal into uh, abstract video images uh, with this technique with the synchronator, and then in the end uh, uh, we were. Um, with uh, compositing effects and other color effects, we we made uh, uh, this uh, music video. It's literally a music video because it's really made out of music. So um, yes, um, thank you for your attention and thank you for uh, watching my masterclass and. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Punto Ireya festival. Thanks to Punto Ireya for inviting me and I'm hoping that soon the cinemas are open again because uh, yeah, I'm sick of monitors. <laughs>